sooner or later dawns the day when your child takes off on his own. His safety on the roads depends on your teaching. Have you done a good job? Not too near the curb now. Playgrounds are for playing, not main roads. A car is a machine. It can't stop as quickly as a little boy. So wait. Remember your curb drill. And if you can't see what's coming, don't try to cross. And at school time, the patrol man will help you across. Teach your child to make use of patrolled crossings or traffic lights whenever possible. And at the end of the day, when school is out, your child will come home safe and sound. This is the ghost of a child. This is the room in the garden where it played in safety. This is the garden gate, the path of adventure. The unpredictable impulse that ended in tragedy. Children under five are too young to understand danger. Never allow a child to go out in the street alone. Let it learn road safety from your own example. An open gate is an invitation to disaster. See that yours is shut. More than anyone else, the under fives need protection and teaching. But they can learn about road safety faster than anyone else. So let your children learn and live. gambling with death whenever you cross a road without thinking. Over 63,000 pedestrians are killed and injured a year on our roads. 42,000 accidents are caused by stepping carelessly into the road. Please look, listen, and think before you cross the road. Use pedestrian crossings wherever possible, but be especially careful where your view is masked by a stationary vehicle. Don't forget, a little thought can save a lot of lives. Look, listen, and think. Think what? Think what you're doing when you go out all by yourself. Remember your curb drill. Use the pedestrian crossings. Walk, don't run, when the coast is clear. However much you may feel like it, never play in the street. And never ever dash out into the road. More people of five, six and seven get killed or hurt than any other age. So don't you do anything silly when you're out on your own. If you want to play, go to a playground or play street. But if you're out walking, be sensible. When you want to cross, use the crossings. Be sure you can see. Only cross when the coast is clear. Listen. If you hear a car, it may be coming round the corner. So use your head. Think. Listen. Look. Every Saturday morning, my ma takes me shopping in the pram. Being Saturday morning, everyone's rushing to spend their wages by lunchtime. So nobody's giving way for a pram. And by the time we get down into the road... If I 
grow up, it'll be a miracle. I keep telling you it takes time to cross the road with a pram. Use the lights! Use the zebras! Motorists don't realize that pram pushes problem. Last Saturday, we push out from behind a parked vehicle. This is where I get out and walk. And I'm keeping out of that pram until mums and motorists realize crossing with a pram takes time. I've seen more changes take place in my lifetime than any previous generation ever could have seen. Changes which have meant constant adjustments to our ways of thinking. For instance, there wasn't much need for curb drill in our young days, was there? And perhaps that's a pity, for this same modern age has produced a fearful trap for us older folk, the motor car. You know, when we're getting on a bit, we maybe don't see so well as we did. Or maybe we don't hear so well. And you wouldn't expect some of us to be as nippy as we were in the gay Edwardian days. So it seems like a good idea to me, for us older and wiser folk to think of these things and go very carefully on the roads. Let's look well before we step off and make use of the crossings. Let's allow ourselves plenty of time. And for heaven's sake, don't let us make things more difficult on the roads, like this. I'm over 60. I want to be 70 and 80. And I don't intend to let a road accident stop me getting there. Yellow lines along the side of the road mean that you mustn't wait except to load or unload during certain times. A single line means the restriction is enforced during every working day. A double line means the restriction is enforced during every working day and some additional times. Any other restriction is shown by a dotted line. Sides like these give details. Remember, yellow lines tell you where waiting is restricted. Signs tell you when. 